Wildcats GM Rich Tebow after an amazing day here at the Q Draft in Sherbrooke, in particular for the Moncton Wildcats. Caleb Denoyer, uh, Sean Cadier in the first round. Rich, let's elaborate on those two great, uh, great young players. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, like you said, it was a great day for our organization and our and our staff here. We we're really excited. You know, a few weeks ago we we won the lottery and got the, the right to pick first. And uh, Caleb Duryea was the was the guy we wanted. We went through the process, you know, from a hockey player and seen him play over a year ago, and he really struck me then. Uh, a lot of history back when he he was a little boy and come to Moncton, how passionate he was, and and that's what the fans in Moncton are going to see. They're going to see highly skilled, highly passionate. Uh, a guy who wants to make a difference, a guy that shows up every night and is physical and, and is a big six foot two center, which are tough to find. Uh, Sean Carrier, you know, I met with this guy on Zoom uh, a few weeks ago and he kind of just, there was something about the kid that just makes you want that guy to be part of your organization. And he really wanted to be part of Moncton and he really didn't want to go anywhere else. So we brought him in for an in person interview yesterday and that's exactly what he said. He said, Richie, I want to play in Moncton. I don't want to play anywhere else. He says, how do you draft me? How, how do we make, make it work? And, you know, the staff last night, we were up very late, and the staff kept pushing that we need to have this guy. You know, we didn't have a pick in a spot that we, uh, we needed to, and uh, we went through it as a group, and they said, you know what? It's a little, worth uh, sacrificing a little bit of future assets to be able to move up and select this also a special player in our mind. And uh, he's a guy that can come in and, and make a difference on our team. And uh, the fans will love him as well for the next number of years as a Wildcat. We added some size today, you know, at Ford and Undy. And uh, like you talk, uh, Tristan Longo is a big six foot five right hand defenseman. He played a sport this year. He's a kid that put up some points. So he's not a big, bruising, physical, necessarily defenseman, but he's a kid with a size that can defend. He can skate pretty good, and he can move the puck. He talked about uh, Schlender's the same thing. He's a power forward. He's physical. People know when he's on the ice. And, uh, you know, we have a number of guys like that. And Anthony Roy, um, you know, the son of former Wildcat Jonathan Roy. You know, up until I got here this weekend, you know, for me, I, I had no idea that he was Jonathan's son. You know, I knew he was on our list, and the scouts were doing their work. And... I found out yesterday he was Jonathan's son, but you know he was wearing a spot on our list where we were pretty comfortable. And he's a, he's a kid that's a little smaller, but he's high skill. And if you remember Jonathan Roy, he was a skilled player. He's a guy that made the teammates better and uh, could really handle the puck and, and make passes. And the scouts, you know, are very happy with this player because that's what they say he brings. He's highly skilled and can make his teammates better. Good local content today too. In that sense, uh, Luke Modet coming over, uh, a defenseman and goaltender, Simon Cormier. Yes, you know, we've got you know, a team in Moncton that's been successful for many, many years from a midget AAA perspective, and they were successful again this year. And there's always players there that, you know, that play well. It's a winning organization, and anytime you've got a winning organization that's so close to you, you, you want to be able to take those players and make them part of your program and see how they can fit in and what they can bring. And every chance that we get to, to draft some of those those kids that are local that can come in and have the pride of the Wildcats because they, they've known them. Uh, we want to give them a chance. And, uh, you know, it's players that we like, and uh, we'll see how they do at training camp. You know, we, we acquired a defenseman with uh, a lot of experience, uh, Olivier Boutin, and everybody you talk to, his teammates, uh, this guy's a wonderful leader. He's a great character, and he's got a lot of skills to make a team better. You know, for us, we love his skating. We love his puck skills. We love how he carries the puck. He can defend, and if needed, he can hit. And he's the type of guy that, as an opposition forward, you don't want to have your head down too far against him because uh, he'll surprise you. But yet again, he's the guy that could play the second power play and, and make a difference on a team. So we're really, really excited to have him. We've got a lot of young D in Moncton, and along with some of our other veteran D, uh, this guy's going to come in and, and really help us along. The, uh, the other fellow we picked up uh, in the trade today is Vincent Collard. Vincent was the third overall pick in uh, Bay Como. And uh, maybe everything didn't work out the way it was supposed to there, but we feel, and when we look at everything to do with that player, and we had a chance to watch him in the playoffs quite a bit. And it's a guy that always stood out for me that I think there's a lot more there than what we've seen. And I feel that we can, you know, take that out of him and make sure that uh, 
he's, he's a very good player for us. So he's really, I called him today, and he's very excited to be part of the Moncton Wildcats. He's really looking forward to it. He's a big six foot two forward. He's a right-hand shot. He's a guy that can play center or right wing. Highly, highly good character kid. You know, some of uh, the uh, people on our staff know him and speak of him very highly. Uh, remember his draft year, we really liked him. We are not able to get him. But uh, we're excited to have him. He can be part of the Wildcats here for two or three years into our future. In our last pick in the Quebec League draft, we picked a U.S. kid that we were going to pick in the U.S. draft. But we did not want to risk not getting him. Uh, Devin Niles. So, you know, Devin is a uh, 2006 highly skilled forward. He's a kid that uh, spent some time in Moncton during the playoffs and watched the playoff game. And him and his family were just thrilled about what they saw in Moncton with our facilities and the playoffs and and the excitement in the building. So he's a kid that's uh, really looking forward to come to training camp and then see, you know, where things go from there. But I could tell you there's a number of other teams in the queue that uh, would have drafted him in the U.S. draft. So that's why we took him with our 14 picks so that we uh, didn't risk losing him. The uh, other player that we he took in the U.S. part is uh, Anthony Pilateri. Anthony is a uh, protege of uh, Connor Garland from a... Uh, he, you know, he grew up in the same area, does workouts with him. You know, there's there's other players that played with the Wildcats that uh, speak highly of him. And the Wildcats, you know, remember Zach Malatesta. Mm -hmm. uh, this player is like Zach Malatesta.